Hey, y'all come through really, really quickly. I will not be long. I promise. I, I promise y'all, I won't. I promise y'all, I won't. Hey, Miss Pierre, good to see you, hun. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give y'all, give y'all about two minutes, probably less than that. Yeah, a minute and a half. I'm going off my timer here. What's going on, girl? So proud of your accomplishments. Keep doing what you're doing, sis. Keep doing what you're doing. I see what God is doing in you and through you. Keep doing what you're doing. Hey, hun. Y'all like, uh, not like, share. <laughs> share and invite your friends to come on really, really quick. I hope this is a blessing to somebody. Um, just a word of encouragement and um, kind of a testimony tied into, tied into it also so y'all come on through come on through come on through i wasn't trying to do nothing extra fancy um just something simple that i know somebody may need today come on through come on through come on through <laughs> come on come on come on got 30 seconds come on through come on through come on through I'm not even going to invite somebody. Y'all going to invite, invite your friends for a minute and watch this. A word of encouragement. And this is officially my sale out moment uh, Monday. Okay. And I, and I, I know I said I was going to go live from my page more often. But um, this couldn't wait. I wanted to just go ahead and do a live from my personal. And I'll just share it on my uh on my fan page later. But anyway, I said I wasn't going to hold y'all on. And I mean it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep my word. Uh, for those of you that know, don't know me, I am Mr. Milani Walker. Co-founder and CEO of the Walking to Kingdom Network. Hey, Daniela Gabrielle. Good to see you, hun. Um, I am the co-founder and CEO of the Walking to Kingdom Network, which my husband and I co-labor and own. With That is a business comprised of three components, um, which is Kingdom Promotions, which is our multimedia sector, Walking to Kingdom Internet Radio, which is our internet radio station, and also uh, Sound Mind Productions and Publishing, which is our record label slash um, book publishing company and so we are so excited about what God is doing and what God is getting ready to do um, this is kind of going to serve as a precursor to the Walking to Kingdom Network live that's going to be coming on at 5 o'clock central 6 eastern so make sure you guys go and tune in to the page uh, go like the page Walking to Kingdom Network on Facebook um, where my husband will be going live at 5 okay all right, so just thought I'd throw that plug in there just to kind of let y'all know uh, who I am and what I'm about. But I also am the uh, visionary for Sailor Moments from Duchess, um, which launched in um, it which was launched about a month or so ago, um, which I'm very still proud of and still excited about what God's going to do through that brand. Um, that brand is an inspirational brand, um, which includes um, not only just uh, St. Lama Moments Apparel, um, and it also has a blog, an inspirational blog and vlog. So this will be added to my blog, um, my website, the vlog section on there. So be sure you go check it out, St. Lama Moments from Duchess.tk. St. Lama Moments from Duchess.tk. St. Lama Moments from Duchess.tk. Make sure you go check out the website for that, okay? Hey, May Lee. It's good to see you, Sara. Okay, so again, I said I wasn't going to be long, so let me hurry up and get to the chase. Now, I told this, I told this, someone wants what you have. Someone wants what you have. Um, I went through life, most of my life, and my family can attest, um, my media family can attest, that, um, you know, I wasn't really much... You know, on the popular side, when it came when it came to getting to know people and things of that nature, um, you know, you had your cliques here and there, um, you know, and you had people that had their favorites and they only wanted to be affiliated with them, and you know, you had to be a part of their group or a part of their affiliation of people to become somebody. Well, um, I'm coming on over the years, and I'm still learning that um, sometimes. You know, if somebody won't open a door, you got to kick a door open. Okay. Um, and that's what me and my husband been doing recently um, as far as um, ensuring that 
um, God does what he needs to do in us and through us concerning our business and our, our personal ministry assignment. Um, and God has been blessing ever since. Ever since we said no apologies. we do, At the beginning of this year, I want to say even at the end of last year, we said no apologies. And um, I'm not going to apologize, and my husband is not going to apologize for the, way, for the way and the path that God is leading us in the season of our lives. And um, as we continue to learn, as we continue to grow, and it's not to say that we have that we have arrived, you know, and we have learned what we needed to know. But at the end of the day, you have to realize what matters more. Um, does it matter that you're in your feelings more than it is for you to reach out and touch lives and go win souls for the kingdom of God? And now I'm speaking from a ministry perspective because that's who I am. And that's um, and that's what me and my husband have been called to do, team ministry. Um, hey, Terrence, good to see you, Fred. Um, what matters most? Does your, do, do your feelings matter more over than making an impact and touching people and, you know, making a difference in where you live? Um, doesn't matter that you're in your feelings. And I put this post out there this morning that there's so much going on in the world. And, of course, prayers are going out to Las Vegas. That, um, you know, that you're in your feelings and you're hurt and you're mad and you're, and you're um, you know, got your blood pressure all up because, you're, you know, people have done this to you and people have done that to you, baby. If you haven't heard, heard by now, it's time for you to let it go. And this is the God honest truth. And this is the God honest truth. Some of you need this harsh reality of, of knowing that it's time to let it go. It's time to let go and let God. It's time to forgive. It's time to heal. As my founder said this morning, shout out to Dr. Jessica Cole. Um, it's time to just grow up. It's time to just grow up. And none of us are getting any younger unless you have found some scientifically, uh, scientific, scientific formula to uh, wind back the hands of time. Um, none of us are getting a day younger, even though we may look it. <laughs> even though we may look it, um, we're not getting any younger. Okay, and so um, I'm just here to ignite a fire. Um, if I can just keep it that way, and not a fire within you um, to do what it is that God has called you to do. You just witnessed this morning what happened in Las Vegas. You just witnessed what happened, and if that isn't, you know, enough for you to, for uh, you know enough for you to see that you don't have much time, if that you can't be sitting around here wondering shoulda, coulda, woulda, then I don't know what more else people can do or what more what what more drastic measures are needed for you to get up and walk in the purpose that you have been designed to walk in. Green and sorrow, uh, Lysandra. Um, what more of a drastic measures will it take for you to wake up? What more drastic measures will it take for you to be the leader of your household? What more drastic measures will it take for you as a woman of God to be yourself and not try to be like anybody else. And I shared this, I believe, on another video that God doesn't want perfection. He wants excellence. And I'm, I've learned that um, in a recent class that I just graduated from. Shout out to the prophets and see a tribe. Um, but nevertheless, uh, God wants uh, perfect. God wants excellence. He doesn't want perfection. Only He is perfect. Now, in some translation of the Bible, there's a scripture that says, you know, be uh, holy as I am holy, in which, you know, some trans transliterated as perfect. But it only means to be mature. It doesn't say to be, you know, mistake free. And if you get it wrong, you're going to hell. That's not what it means. That's not what it means. It's to be mature as he is mature, as he is the one that knows all and sees all. And you know knows the the I envy from our from our beginning, you know the the thoughts in it that you know that he thinks towards us are good and not of evil, to give you a hope in the future. So, what more of a what more of a uh, drastic measure do you need um, to walk in your divine assignment, as we say in the church? But to walk in your purpose, to walk in your identity, to walk in what God has for you to do. Um, and again, this is a word of encouragement slash testimony, right? So within this, 
Um, God has been opening doors in um, me and my husband's life for our business, especially with Kingdom Promotions. And I just want to, again, personally thank each and every one of you who are my clients. Shout out to all of you. You know who you are. I am very uh, honored and privileged that you have counted um, me, you know, not robbery. You kind of not robbery to uh, connect with me, to entrust me with your services. So I thank you for that. But he has been blessing through Kingdom Promotions. And um, I have just signed, I believe it's my 10th, my 9th or my 10th client. I want to say it's my 10th client um, for Kingdom Promotions. And, and God has been doing it. And people be asking like, don't you have enough on your plate? And I say, well, if it's on my plate, I can eat it. That means it's meant for me to eat. And uh, you know how us ask for miracles. <laughs> Get when it comes to food, right? <laughs> but if it's on my plate and God put it on my plate, that means I, it was meant for me to eat. Greetings, Minister Kenyon. Greetings, Luella. Hey, hey. So, um, I just want to remind you, if there's a business that you that you need to birth, if there's a dream and a goal that you want to achieve, go for it. Go for it. As long as God is in the center and he's the head and um, he gives you the vision to do uh, what he has told you to do, go for it. Go for it. Um, we birthed this business about 10 years ago. I know it's been a little over 10, but I would say 10 because that's the first number that's in my head right now. Um, if he tells you to birth a business, do it. If he tells you to go make a CD, do it. If he tells you to write a book, do it. If he tells you to go draw a painting and sell it, do it. If he tells you to go find a location for your business, do it. If he tells you to start a brand, do it. If he tells you to start a movement, do it. If he tells you to go to law school, do it. If he tells you to go and be a doctor, do it. If he tells you to go be a judge, a governor, even the president of the United States, do it. I mean, I preached... Um, I preached a sermon one time. The scripture uh, said, Gird up your loins like a man. You know, and don't question what God has told you to do. Do it. You already know what he's saying to you. Can we just be blunt? Can we just be real? God's been talking to you. Yes, he has. He has been talking to you. And you know what he's been saying. So why just blatantly ignore what it is that he's telling you to do? I mean, seriously, again. Las Vegas, 9-11, all these other shootings that happened, Charleston, um, you know, these terrorist attacks, hurricanes, you know, and all these other pestilence that's going on in the world. And you are still in your feelings? Really? You still want to question if God is, to, is calling you to do something? Come on. I mean, girl, up your lungs like a man. That's what the Bible say. And do it. You got to do it. Do what he's told you to do. I mean, the people were able to build a wall in your mind because they had a mind to work. Let this mind be you that was also in Christ Jesus. And uh, again, I just told you about how God's been, you know, telling us to kick doors open in this season. If nobody won't give you a platform, as my husband put out there on Facebook, create your own platform. And you can start with a website. Ha <laughs> ha. How about that? Um, yeah, love bugs. Look at love bugs all around here, too. <laughs> All this kind of stuff, but he's telling you to do it. If nobody won't give you a platform, create your own platform. And let me tell you, it is not, um, it's not evil to create your own platform. It is not, um, it is not unrighteous. If hopefully that's a word, but it's not unrighteous that um, that you create your own platform. And it's not being prideful as long as God has given you the divine instructions on what to do. As long as he's giving you the divine instructions, you can, you can create your own platform. And that's what it took for me and my husband to have an award-winning internet radio station. That's what it took for me to sign my 10th client today for my uh, virtual assistant business. And that's what it took for many others to utilize my services for their business. I'm not saying I'm rich. I'm not saying I have, you know, the top the top line, everything. I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is I have to be obedient to what he's told me to do. And I have to do it in excellence. And what's, and because I'm doing it in a spirit of excellence, and it's because that I'm doing it out of what, of the assignment and out of the obedience that um, God has instilled in me, then that's what makes me successful. 
That's what makes me successful in my personal life. Others may define success as, you know, having a house on the hill, having about four or five cars with uh, two and a half kids and, you know, a pool in the back. To me, that's not really success. Success is knowing that you are walking in full obedience of your purpose. Now, that's a say lot moment for you right there. So let's pause on that. Okay. Real success is defined by walking in full obedience in your purpose. Okay, I'm probably to twist the words around, but the same thing. Walk in obedience. Hey, hey, Kim. Hey, you guys. I'm going to throw this plug in there. Share, of course, share this video. But also, uh, follow my girl, Kimberly Harris Mendoza. She had an awesome album release and book signing on Saturday night. And I'm so godly proud of her. Um, I'm so um, thankful to God that I was able to plant the seed for her to go in the path that God has taken her. And um, Kim, just know that more doors are opening for you and your family to walk in. And I just pray God's blessings upon you. And I'm still, I'm still so proud of you. If you need me, let me know. You know, I'll come sing background for you in a minute. <laughs> but um, I'm so proud of you. Y'all make sure y'all go support her. Go get her CD that's out and go get that book that's out. Okay. But um, nevertheless, again, I'm so grateful to God. And this is not just boasting and, you know, being prideful and being in myself. No, it's not. It's just about, it's just bragging on the goodness of God and what he can do in a little somebody like me from Lafayette by way of Crowley to come to North Louisiana and to, you know, walk in team ministry alongside my husband, you know, from a place to where, you know, I felt so down and low and depressed and felt like I really couldn't do it. To be in a place where I can say, if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. Plain and simple. So again, I didn't want to be all alone, but I just hope this video blessed somebody. I hope this encouraged somebody to walk in the full obedience of what God has called you to do. Again, there's too much going on in the world for you not to be obedient. That's too, way, 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 way too much for you not to walk in obedience. Because you only got one chance. You only got one. One. You only got one time. He's giving you one chance. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. Okay? So be encouraged. Be um, inspired. Know that God has your back. Um, and if you're watching this video and you aspire to walk in your dreams and walk to your purpose, and you may not even be a believer, but there's some tugging on your heart and it's tugging on your spirit that you want to walk in, um, your uh, purpose and your divine assignment. Um, I encourage you to get to know Jesus today. And if there's any way I can help you know him and help you, um, you know, be introduced to the greatest inspiration, the greatest um, role model that you can ever have in your life, then feel free to inbox me and I would love to minister to you. I would love to, to chat with you and to share with you about a man that, like the woman said, um, that had five husbands that knew all about me, that knew all about me, you know, come see a man, come hear of this man that knew all about me and knew all about myself. You know, I want to be that witness to you. Okay. Um, hey, Sade, good to see you, hun. That's another person y'all need to invite. There's so many people y'all need to, um, be following on here. Daniela, Daniela Gabrielle has her, um, marketing, um, business that, that she has and she has books out and I'm so proud of what she's doing. Brittany Pierre right there at Streetport. She has a, a dance team, which is off the chain. Y'all need to go, uh, connect with her. Um, let's see who else. T Fish. Terrence Fisher right there in Texas. He's an awesome musician. Overseer Lysandra Hurst. She is a powerful woman of God, a preaching machine. Uh, Minister Kenyon Johnson. Um, of course, he has his own business and um, he's a minister of the gospel. Um, who else is on here that does stuff? I told y'all about Kim already. Sade Stewart. Go be positive. Follow her nonprofit brand. And of course, connect with me. Um, I have Sailor Moments from Duchess.tk. Sailor Moments from Duchess.tk. Sailor Moments from Duchess.tk. Be sure you go to my website. Check out the brand um, that is Sailor Moments from Duchess. Um, and I'm so proud to uh, have sold my first Sailor Moments uh, from Duchess shirt. Um, shout out to my girl in Alabama, Sarah Ruby Thomas. I thank you so much for planting that seed. And I hope you enjoy your shirt. You're going to look cute, girl. <laughs> um, but if you see on my page, you'll see a. Um, the, the, the picture of the t-shirt um, and she lives in Alabama and she purchased my very first shirt and so she is so, support, so supportive and um, I just pray me and blessings upon her but make sure you go order your shirt and men guess what 
I made a shirt for you. Yes, I did. I made a shirt for you. Say La Moments from Duchess.tk. Go to the website. And it's going to have a section that says, I believe it says, Shop Say La. Go, go Shop Say La. And it'll have women's shirts. And it has a men's t-shirt that I just made over the weekend. And I'm so excited. I want you guys to go check it out and go buy your shirts. And I also have a tote bag also. And it says, Keep It Simple and Say La. And so be sure you go order your t-shirt and your bag today. My Grammy's watching. Make sure y'all go follow my Grammy. <laughs> She'll probably tell y'all, I don't know y'all these people. <laughs> but it's my Grammy, y'all. I love her so much with her beautiful young self. Um, she is, of course, the matriarch on my stepdad side of the family. And I love her dearly. And um, we all love her dearly, all of us on Facebook. We just think it's so cool that our, uh, <laughs> that our grandma is on Facebook. We love her so much. Her and, her and Papa. Amen, Saint. But again, go to my website, say our moments from duchess.tk. Say our moments from duchess.tk. Say what? Say our moments from duchess.tk. Go to the website, order your t shirt. Again, men, we do have a shirt for you. I told y'all I had y'all back, and I'm thank y'all for so being for being patient with me. Again, you heard me earlier. I decided my 10th client for uh, Kingdom Promotions. So if you need a website, if you need some logos, if you need social media, social media be upkept, please inbox me. Please email me. Kingdom Promotions, uh, D-I-R at gmail.com. Kingdom Promotions, D-I-R at gmail.com. Kingdom Promotions, D-I-R at gmail.com. Email me. Let me know you're interested in getting you a website. Getting you some business cards, getting you a logo, uh, keeping up your social media, any of that, you can hit me up. I will hook you up. Or if you know me personally, of course, inbox me. Okay. Um, what else is going on? Of course, the live at five at Walking to Kingdom Network. Um, they're going to go live in about 12 minutes. So make sure you go to Walking to Kingdom Network. Um, my husband will be on that live. And again, this is serving as a precursor to that. But it's also just connecting with you all because I haven't talked to y'all in a minute. So, um, again, um, I thank you all so much for joining me today. And again, I pray this was a blessing to you. And I'm praying for you. Just know I am praying for you. I'm praying that God will help you push your purpose, your destiny, um, help you propel um, to another level to where you need to be. And not just where you want to be. Because sometimes we where we want to be, but that's not, that's not where we need to be. And so let God push you to where you need to go, okay? Um, I think I have just about everything that I can think of. Walk into kingdomagenda.com, walk into kingdomagenda.com, walk into kingdomagenda.com is the main website for Walk into Kingdom Network. We just have a new look to it, and I'm so excited about that. And we'll be adding some para for the uh, Walk into Kingdom uh, Network just overall. We'll have some apparel added to the store as well. Um, lately it's been just say a lot of moments from Duchess, but we're gonna add some WN2K apparel to apparel to the website also so that way you can walk into kingdom you know walk into kingdom as a uh, a kingdom citizen. I'm so tired today y'all. I'm just trying to hurry. But um, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and just wish you all farewell for the rest of the evening. And I'm going to do my best to um, make sure I connect with you guys on Mondays. If no other day, I'm going to make sure I connect with you guys on Mondays. Hey, Lana. Hey, Elijah. Good to see you both. Um, love you too, Grammy. I told y'all my Grammy is so cool. I love her. But um, And uh, also, while I'm thinking about that too, I got your calendar, Grammy. I'm a, the, you're gonna be the first one to get a calendar here. I'm gonna make sure you get a calendar for me for 2018. I owe you a calendar. But we're gonna have Save Our Moments, um, uh, calendars, um, gonna be, or, um, we're gonna have them on for pre-sale. Um, so if you need a calendar, um, I'll let y'all know when I'm gonna launch that. Um, I already got ideas going in my head for that, but we're going to have y'all uh, pre-order these calendars. Um, for those of y'all who need a calendar, um, for those of y'all who want to just go ahead and order one um, and get your plans ready for 2018, because I really truly believe that 2018 is going to be an awesome year. It's going to be an awesome year. And I know people say that every year about every new year, but you have to decree and declare that this next year coming up, it's going to be the best year of your life. So start planning now. Start planning right now. If you haven't been planning for 2018 yet, now is the time. Just as the businesses are planning for their fiscal year, you need to go ahead and plan for a great and awesome 2018. Okay? So 
I love you all so much. Thank you again for supporting everything that God is uh, implanting in the life of myself and my husband. We love you all so much. And this has been Selah Moments from Duchess. And um, I, again, I will be sharing it on the Facebook page. And if you have not connected to my Facebook page, uh, my Selah Moments from Duchess Facebook, go search it out. It's S-E-L-A-H Moments, that's all one word, from Duchess um, on Facebook. Selah Moments from Duchess on Facebook, okay? Make sure you go follow the page, and I will share this video on that page. Hey, Nitro, I'm just about to log off, but make sure you catch the replay, okay? And that's for all of you all on, on the replay that's watching me. Thank you all so much for joining me, okay? I love you guys, and there's nothing you can do about it. And always remember to keep it simple and say life. Bye.